Alcohol use is widespread among teenagers. The statistics are there to prove it. The absence of a minimum drinking age on the law books hasn't helped. It might also account for the large population of adult alcoholics. Getting them off the booze has presented a number of challenges from treatment costs to the availability of treatments, just to name two. Not many people are actually willing to undergo that process. One, because they do not accept the fact that they have an addiction to the product alcohol or alcoholic beverages. Second, um, sometimes it's a challenging thing to realize that the only breadwinner in a family now has to undergo some form of treatment or therapy which could be long term. The next best option is behavior modification. But that comes with its own set of challenges, not the least of which is the time requirement. But the prevalence of youth drinking has made the youth between 8 and 17 the targets for a new campaign by the Secretariat. We are seeing in by virtue of the statistics that young people who are engaged in alcohol con con consumption at, let's say, at a very early age, they are more likely to become addicted to alcoholic beverages later on in life. And we also know the impact that it has, especially if this person is on the verge of um, pursuing elements of academia that is in school, um, they are more likely to be affected. While drinking may be a singular problem behavior for some, Mr. Yard says for others it may be an expression of general adolescent turmoil that includes other problem behaviors including drug abuse. And that's why the Secretariat, together with other agencies, will be focusing a lot more attention on the youth in the coming months. For the DBS News World, Kendall Burton reporting.